Rise and shine. It is our first morning in Monteverde, Costa Rica. This is the door to our Airbnb. This is a sick hammock. I'm just gonna take a seat. Oh, and tell you a bit about what we're doing today. So it is currently 7.25 a.m. We are gonna be going to a coffee farm that is literally like 200 meters right of our Airbnb. So super convenient and it's just gonna be teaching us about how they make coffee here, lots of coffee samples, and I guess a little bit about Costa Rican history. So Roy and I are super excited for that. Um, a little history and a little coffee sounds amazing. And yeah, let's go see if he's ready. Hello. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Coffee brewing in the cloud forest, and you can find it under the experiences in Monteverde. But yeah, so we got to try five different coffees at the end of going through the entire plantation. It was about like an hour hike through the plantation. We tried um, sweet lemons, and we got to try the berries right plucked from the plant, which are the cherries that make the coffee. So it's like the coffee bean is hidden under the layer. Um, the coffees that we tried were tea, coffee, light, medium, dark, and then light again made a different way. But I would highly recommend this experience. Chris was so knowledgeable and so funny and nice and he really brought the small group, we were a group of six, together and got us talking and engaging. Definitely would recommend it. And now we are back starving so I'm gonna have some lunch even though I haven't even had breakfast today but I thought we were gonna get back at 10 and we ended up getting back at 11 30 so he definitely went over but that's also really appreciated because there was no extra cost he just taught us so much and didn't pay attention to the clock at all and I'm not sure what we're gonna get up to today but I will obviously let you know so I'm gonna go eat after I relax a bit more in this amazing hammock
Santa Elena and it's time for dinner. Okay, so I'm going to be brutally honest about this restaurant. It had amazing reviews and we got a quesadilla. Roy got a quesadilla. He tried to make it with steak. They wouldn't allow it. It was like a patty with cheese that wasn't even cooked and then the tomato sauce that they smothered all over it looked appetizing but was just not, the flavor just wasn't there. I got a plate with fish, beer battered fish. Normally I love beer battered fish but this was like a pancake fish, like fish with covered by a pancake. It was like 70% pancake batter, 30% fish. The fish just wasn't good. They didn't give like any lime, any tartar sauce, anything to just like make the flavor a little bit better. But yeah, I would probably steer clear from this place, which makes me really sad because when I see little restaurants like that, I always want to give them love. And sometimes their recipes are amazing and the flavor is so there, but this place, it just wasn't. We are now going to go grab some drinks at Bar Amigos, which is just down the road, and probably get an appetizer. <laughs>